Well, how do there, chums? Today, chums, I want to talk a little bit about the fiasco that is the delay to the No Man's Sky update. Now, if I jump on over onto my Xbox, which I've got on screen right here, and I go and have a look for, you know, No Man's Sky, you can quite clearly see that even on Xbox, even though No Man's Sky Worlds isn't out right now, it shows the artwork for No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1. You hit it up, and yeah, you've got this lovely trailer right here. Hmm. Okay. Brilliant. Eh? Let's hit play to that. Introducing No Man's Sky version 5.0. It's No Man's Sky Worlds, the trailer. They've only got to put the blinking trailer on there. Now you've got join Game Pass, or you can show it in the Microsoft Store. Let's see how much I could pick this up for. $19.99. It's even on sale right now, people. And it's still got the actual artwork in the background for No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1. And it's not out. It's, it's not there. So somewhere on this screen, it should say, Worlds Part 1 will be coming soon to Xbox. Currently, if you do purchase this game, it's going to be version 4.7. However, it should be the full version of 5.0 before this sale ends. Please take advantage of this sale now, add it to your store, and we'll let you know when 5.0 rolls out. There could be a note here. It shouldn't be much to ask. They put some sort of disclaimer on there saying what you're buying isn't what you're getting. It's not quite cricket, is it, people? It really isn't. But then, is Hello Games much better? Because they could do something quite simple, couldn't they, over on the Hello Games so over space. on the actual game space for No Man's Sky by Hello Games. You can see here it says Worlds Part 1 version 5.01. And you can see that there's updates there for PlayStation 4 and 5, which is great. You can see that this one only came out on PC. When you scroll down to the Worlds Part 1 update, it actually shows Nintendo Switch there. Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. And we know that isn't true. But it could be that they could just put a little note under each of these, you know, some brackets or something, to say, we'll be rolling out as, as soon as possible, currently not available. Something like that, or even failed certification process. Or just remove these off of there for now until it's actually out on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and X Part. Because surely this as showing it is on all platforms if somebody goes and takes advantage of that sale whether that be through xbox game store or through purchasing it through the actual hello games frickin's website because when you go to the actual front screen you can go to more purchase options you can select your platform right here you think you're buying welds because you've got the trailer actually on this front screen right here that's showing no man's sky world so you hit more purchase options if you do want to go and purchase it on xbox or series x or s hit in there it takes you over to here to purchase it and there's nothing to tell you that you're not getting what you're paying for i honestly don't i honestly don't get it people i just wish that hello games could put something on their front screen and I really wish that Xbox and Microsoft could put something on their front screen. Because anybody picking this up right now, on this sale, would be thinking that they're going to be getting Worlds Part 1. Because that's the trailer that's playing. That's the latest version. And it even it even says there, you know, it comes with all 29 major updates, including Worlds Part 1. It's actually written there, in black and white, clear as freaking crystal. Oh my days, I've just spotted that. Oh, I didn't see that before. But that's an extra rub of salt into the wounds, isn't it? For Xbox players. And it even says release date there. 24th of the... Oh, hold on. Oh no, that's that's 2018. That was like years ago. That's not release... Uh, that's not this year. <laughs> I had, had me going there for a second. But it does make you wonder whether the 24th of the 7th is when it might roll out on all platforms. Because then it's like their yearly anniversary or something. But I'm just doing the numerology speculation now and going off in tangents. But there you go, people. I think you get the point. Um, I'm not overly impressed with the comms, the communications for both, for both Hello Games and also the communications from Xbox. Both of them have got a lot to be desired, to be honest. And I think a lot of the confusion, and a lot of the frustration that could be actually you know, circumvented just by somebody being a bit vocal about where this is in the certification process and launch process. And 
it could be done in text. Heck, it could be done on either of their Twitter pages, for example. You know, you can you can log into that using a freaking mobile device. There is no excuse for this level of poor comms, in my opinion, people. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Am I right on this? Or do you feel that they've done everything they could do from either of these parties? Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.